Hey everybody, Xena back here for some more Make a Good Mega Man Level 3. This time we're going to be picking up with Mechanical Factory in all lowercase. Which, uh, is definitely unique and not a generic level name. Like, <laughs> probably the most generic level name I've ever heard. Um, but let's see uh, what kind of quality we're dealing with. Um, so far it looks like we have Metal Man stage, which, uh... You know, that's not the worst first impression in the world, I suppose, but, um, what, oh, the, uh, tellies just kind of come out of nowhere. Okay, this is somewhat interesting. Um, how does this work? Okay, there's a, there's a token on the right side here. And that was not how that was meant to be procured. Okay, better idea. Let's not engage with a level gimmick at all. There we go. Um, I don't know what got destroyed down there, but that was a tad bizarre. All right, let's continue on. Um, yeah, I really thought that by a. Uh, <clears throat> tier 6 or whichever tier we're on right now that the uh, commentary would get a bit more interesting but this still feels like a pretty generic level does not uh, leave too much up to the imagination that e-tank grab is kind of cool though um, although uh, just suddenly introducing junk blocks and not doing anything super special with them is a bit odd maybe uh, something interesting will, will be happening shortly though um, can't really call that a thematically appropriate mini boss, but okay. Okay, at least we have the uh, the junk blocks here, which is good, showing that uh, the level isn't giving up on its theme too quickly. Um, obvious secret down here. Okay, so the token is somewhere around. Here. Was uh pretty pretty tight actually. I'm surprised I managed to pull that off. I thought for sure I was gonna die. Oh wait, I almost just killed myself by forgetting about the knockback reducing power up that I have. This uh little like secret alcove looks a tad janky. It's not really the worst thing in the world, but it looks a little bizarre. One thing I did notice um is that. A lot of enemies in the stage seem to have reduced health, which is, uh, interesting. Another obvious secret here, the left. I appreciate that there's nothing, uh, too obtuse about fighting the secrets in the stage. The uh, Fuse Man music is a pretty decent fit, by the way. And, uh, okay, nice. We have a slight evolution of the mini boss concept. <clears throat> Eddie? Thank you. I imagine we're pretty close to the end of the stage at this point. Also, I'm not sure about that sniper Joe right next to the screen transition. That's a bit odd. And, uh,. This room scrolls like one inch. It's a bit odd. Uh, could have probably reduced it by a couple tiles and just had it, uh, you know, cleanly be one screen. But not a big deal. Not uh, having any visual indicator for where the jump blocks are going to fall is a little... Um, not sure how to feel about that part. Because, uh, and it's kind of same for the tellies, because you don't really know where they're going to come from. 
so, uh, yeah. Not bad, though. <clears throat> we have Metal Man, yeah, of course. I like how he spawned on air, and also we almost got hit by him. What is this guy we Oh, chocolate. Okay, um, pretty decent stage. Nothing memorable about- Nothing memorable about it at all, unfortunately. Um, that kind of just existed. Expanded crash lifts. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that part's not bad. It's not terribly memorable. Yeah, exactly. It's literally just... Metal Man. It's so generic. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, actually, I did notice that Laser Trident was pretty good against almost every enemy here. Yeah, this does feel like a Bagman Maker level. That's unfortunate. What do we have here? Uh... Okay, cool. Up, down, all around. Um... I think this was the next level, right? Yeah. Up, down, all around. Okay. Uh, alright. Well, let's see. With a title like that, uh, it doesn't give... Oh, no. Please. Please don't let this be horrendous. Got, a uh, what? Um, zero four music. Wait, huh? Wait. What? Why did I die? What in the world did I die from? Also, why does it say there's... Why does it say there's a, a room up here? Okay. Alright, well, uh... I appreciated not dying that time, but that was weird. Oh. So these are going up now. Okay. I... I feel like this is definitely going to get pretty disorienting. Okay. At least uh, the gravity flippers are actually marked in this stage, unlike the previous one. The fact that these carry you up now is so disorienting, actually. Wait, do you... Oh, this way. Yeah. <clears throat> Where is the token? Whoa. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know about that, because it was almost impossible to see the token right until you're, you're right next to it, so... Maybe rethink that design a little bit. Again, not the worst thing in the world. Also, that room we just passed through was pretty fun. Oh, nice. Help. Well, this is your pretty standard anti- uh, for reverse gravity shtick, but at least it incorporates a bunch of assets from a lot of different stages that make it feel a bit more unique. I can't tell if this background tiling is from Gemini Man stage or something else. These bricks. They look kind of like Gemini Man, but then these pipes. I don't have any idea where they come from. Oh, okay, nice. There's a checkpoint in this room. Yeah, uh, the, the visuals are, are pretty solid. I don't know where they come from off the top of my head, but they look good. Uh, 
Um... Okay, that worked. Yeah, actually, this is pretty well built. Um, these, like, rooms where you're just free-floating with uh, the spikes. I didn't really have any trouble there. So ni nicely done. That was a much shorter stage than I expected, actually. Um, short and sweet. Those uh, five token grabs came pretty quickly. Hunter. It's an interesting choice to end the... I guess it's kind of fitting, because... Oh. Ooh, these guys weak too. It's not bad. Okay, shockwave. Yeah, pretty good. I, I I like it. I like it. Um, let's see. Rowdy flipping. Yeah. You issues. Really? I mean, honestly, the uh, the gyro platforms rising slowly, that did seem intentional based on some of the uses. Very bare bones. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, I, I think the aesthetics were pretty nice. The enemies and stuff, uh... Yeah. It is, it is kind of mindless. Yeah, it... It didn't, uh... Everything just kind of came and went pretty fast. Yeah, odd. But uh, I actually had fun there, so nice job. Oh, we got Jewel Man for this again. Huh. I didn't think this was gonna return from uh, two, but I guess it's back. Dang. Oh, and on top of it, he's switching the, uh, conveyor direction. Okay. That's a, uh, nice twist on the idea, actually. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, not bad. Alright, let's move on. Um, what's here? Oh, okay, nope. We don't want to go there. 112. Stalling for time. Um, that doesn't sound that great off the bat. Um, let's get into it, though. What is this? hurt me? What in the world? What am I- is this- I am very confused right away. I like this, uh, stone muscler. This is kind of funny. Eddie? I guess. Okay, we got a mini hot dog. More of these shield things. Tornadoes? I, uh... I already feel lost. It looks like we have a bunch of mini versions of mini... Small versions of mini bosses, which is kind of cool. These, uh, mecha... What? No. The, uh... The Kamigoro Maker Tornadoes. Got a, a bit of a visual upgrade, it looks like. Which is nice. Huh, okay, yeah, it looks like everything. 
Every enemy here is a smaller version of a mini boss. They're also cute. <laughs> I like that. It's over here. Uh. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we want to go this way to get this secret. Okay, I see three tokens in one room, so let's see where this goes, I guess. Actually, you know, this seems a bit dangerous. There we go. That one, uh, that tornado generator thing at the bottom is missing in graphic. Not sure if anybody else picked up on that, but... Oh boy, another stone muscler. This enemy is really cool. I, I, I really think the, uh... Combining Stone Man with that thing is, is a super cool idea. In fact, uh, all of the enemies in this stage are pretty neat. Like, it seems like a lot of work went into the custom assets. I'm assuming where this all fell apart is uh, kind of like where the music came from. This ended up being a much shorter level than intended. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, pretty short. What is this? I'm a Goro Man. This? That is interesting. Huh. I cannot get down. Okay, this is pretty cool, though. Like, this is actually really, really cool. I, I, I quite like the concept. Un, uh, unfortunately... Okay. an NPC? Stall woman, you don't want to fight me after all that? Yeah? Well, not really. Stop stalling. What? Huh? Um... There is no way. There's no... What is this? Oh. You can actually do something. And you can actually die. Okay. So, why was she standing at the beginning of the stage? I, I am, I am lost, I think. I'm really lost in what is going on in this stage. Uh, if anybody understands, please tell me later. Because I don't think I get it. There's, there's something going on here and I don't get it. These stupid tornadoes are so glitchy. Wait, now I can't even get... I can't even get up there. Wait, are, are you serious right now? What? Okay, wait. This this is, like, seriously dumb. Wait, hold on. <clears throat> I need to, uh, get at least close to the bottom of this, because... Like, what... what gives? I, I cannot get down. Tornadoes are so glitchy. beat him everything disappears so we need to try and go go up during the fight i think okay also just to fill out the commentary for this uh very tedious section i'm assuming that stall woman here gives you one one token for every option you you pick like 
like if you pick 10 minutes you get all three of the tokens if you pick one minute you only get one and, and so on but i have no idea how the author of this stage thought this would be even remotely smart like like why is this a thing and also what happens if you kill her that's what i want to know um this seems to be glitching out maybe I, I can't I can't really tell what's going on. What? What? I can't move. Okay, and I can still take damage. Oh boy. What? I I can't move. Okay, um, this might just be the strangest thing that we've seen yet. So... I, I honestly can't tell if it's intentional. Yeah, you know what, I'm just going to cut and then um, come back when the timer hits zero because we have eight minutes to wait and I'm not putting all of that in the video. So let's uh, let's, let's do a little, a, a quick little cut, okay? All right, I'll see you guys in eight minutes for some reason. Just wanted to pop back in here at the mid mark and say that this boss spawns so many objects that it made me feel like the game was about to crash. So I couldn't uh, just stand there and let her pattern reset forever. I think the same thing is probably going to eventually happen here, but hey, I'm just going to wait here an hour if that's what it takes because this was so so poorly thought out. I don't even know what she's doing right now. Um, the the thought that maybe like an object limit should be placed, I, I guess that didn't cross the creator's mind, which, um, you know, I guess fine, but this, this just doesn't just doesn't make any sense. I, I can't tell if the slowdown. Okay, it doesn't seem like slowdown's happening yet, but I'll just cut back again to when this is over. Well, uh, here we are. We're back. Stall Woman has so much health that her health bar turned black, and she's been doing this for the better part of... Yeah. Dealt 40 damage. <clears throat> Uh, no, no, please never speak to me again. What? Huh? Wait, 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 what? Wait, what was all that? Wait, hold on. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I need to read that again. Okay, so even though I sat there for 10 minutes like a moron, that was not the win condition. Um, well, okay. Well, I thought it was a stall for time challenge. Um, I feel lied to. Um, okay, well, that pretty much destroyed my opinion of this stage, actually. Um, that was, that was pretty terrible. Um, various technical issues. Prepare for Chang. Hmm. It's very, very grinding and tiny. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, screw that. Screw everything about that. No. No, 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 no. Get me out. Alright, I gotta see the judge commentary on this one. I'm sure. I'm sure it's delightful. Where to begin? Yeah, I mean, it, the, it's, it's really cool, like, the, the, the mini bosses.
yeah. The tornadoes are buggy. Yeah, I don't know about that this stall on the boss fight. Yeah, she didn't follow me during the level either, so I don't know what the judges are talking about. Maybe it was the other path. I mean, the bosses are cool. It's just kind of weird. Yeah, I, I really wish the key thing was explained before I sat there for more than 10 minutes because of the unplayable lag. Um, yeah. Very bizarre stage overall. Yeah, this this is weird. She she didn't move. Was she supposed to move? Hold on, wait. I actually kind of want to see this. Was Stall Woman supposed to move? Oh, oh, she was. <laughs> she was supposed to move. Okay, never mind. Um, I am less confused now, a little bit. Okay, she actually follows you. Um, yeah. Okay, so she can be killed with tornado. Or at least that's there, right? Oh. Okay, yeah, she's dead. <laughs> what? Wait, how is... What? How did this... How is this programmed? Wait, no, no, no. Okay, th that is... That is hilarious. Okay, never mind. This, this is probably the jankiest level I've seen so far. That's hilarious. Okay, great. Cryo man, I'm one of the lab's most valuable employees. Maker and break. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right. Okay, this is that. Um. Okay. Well, that's gonna be enough for this video. We're gonna pick up next time with this upcoming level. Uh. Yeah. Fortnite man got a new stage. I. I sure hope he did. Thank you all for watching. This is Zeno signing off. Bye.